Well, that was a new public service announcement from MTV as it teams up with groups like CARE, the Council of American Islamic Relations, as well as the Southern Poverty Law Center, the NAACP, and others to educate young people about biases they may not even know they have. And while the multi -approach is, uh, a multi-approach ca campaign is designed to educate people of all colors and creeds, there are growing questions about the focus of a campaign that includes a documentary program dubbed, quote, the Untitled White Project. Joining me now, Ben Shapiro, who's editor-in-chief of Truth Revolt, and Robert Zimmerman, who's a Democratic strategist. Gentlemen, thank you both so much Good for be being here. Uh, all right, Ben, so this MTV wants folks to begin to de-bias themselves, and they have even uh, come up with a seven-day racial bias cleanse that I gather CARE has helped them put together. And uh, the theory behind this is what? Well, I mean, the theory behind this is that we are all racists, and even if we don't know that we're racists, we are racists, and therefore we're going to need training from the mainstream media in how we're not, in how to become not racist. Presumably, after that racial bias cleanse, there'll be a racial bias, a racial bias colonoscopy, which I think would be significantly more unpleasant. <laughs> um, but at, at the end of this story, of course, the solution to all of our racism is, to, racism is to do whatever it is that the left, leftist folks over at MTV want us to do in order to assuage our self-esteem, and we can all, we can all confirm that we're not. Racists or bigots in any way by doing exactly what all of the leftists in the media want us to do. Namely, if we want to show that we're not misogynist, vote for Hillary Clinton. If we don't want to show that we're racist, then vote for Barack Obama, etc. Ben, well, ben, 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 go ahead, me, Robert. Ben, is this the point of your soliloquy where you shout out live from New York at Saturday night? Because that type of rant indicates you're auditioning for the show. There's no basis in reality in what you said at all. It's almost, it's almost pathetic or comical. The reality here is that the MTV campaign, which is also done in partnership with the Anti-Defamation League, internationally respected organization, and the Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Discrimination, amongst many others, is really designed to speak to the needs of millennials, the 14 to 24 year olds, who have done, and this is based upon extensive research, where 41 percent have felt that they are, in fact, feel bigotry amongst in their, in their own thoughts, and 63 percent in that study show they've been the victim of prejudice of one sort or another. And it's not the kind of prejudice we grew up with where we saw fire hoses turned on protesters or dogs chasing protesters. It's subtle and painful prejudice people witness on the internet or in comments that are being made. It is a very innovative program. No one's forced okay. to participate, but it has a great the educational thing is, though, opportunity. Ben, you know, when I look at the, what the cleanse is going to offer to folks, it's, go, it's activities like setting a counter stereotypical image as the background on your phone. Ha ha! That's it. That's it. That, that, and then you're no longer racist if you, if you just put a person of another race as your background on your iPhone. And then there's consuming media that helps build empathy for people of other races. So no more all in the family for anybody who fails their cleanse test. That's a propaganda effort. I mean, the idea that this is not a propaganda effort and that it's not designed to change people's behavior and their thought processes is silly. And again, it, it is all based on the presumption that all sorts of Americans, especially young Americans, who, by the way, their, their own surveys show are not racist and don't have racist attitudes, it's designed to show them that they secretly are racist. And again, the only way in order for them to cleanse that racism and in order to exculpate themselves is to do all of the things that, that the leftists at, at MTV would want them to ben, do. It's There's about a goal of awareness. Finish, yes, it's an opt-in program, but so what? Ben, it's about building awareness. The Anti-Defamation League is not oh. a leftist organization, and I think it's really unfair for you to characterize <laughs> them as such. They've been pioneers in the fighting anti-Semitism. The NAACP anti care? What do you, th what do you make the of their point I'm, The point Robert. I'm making is simply that the idea of building awareness, helping young people confront bigotry so they can respond peacefully and log logically when they face it, helping them become more sensitive to other people's needs, especially... Okay, but let me ask you this, Robert. Let me ask you this. Yes. One of the questions in there, you know, you saw we're all, we're all biased, we're all by this, we're Bipartisan. Do you think there's going to be a little, a little detector to see if there's uh, a, a, an anti-conservative bias in here for the young people and try to cleanse them of that so they can be more, quote, bipartisan? Megan, it's not about partisanship. It's not about conservative They're the ones liberal. who inject partisanship into their PSA. No. In fact, the reality is the entire program it really rises above the partisan rhetoric we're witnessing. And I think what's really important here is that if we don't to the voices of the 14 to 24 year olds, we don't listen to the millennials and what they're saying, then we're tragically doomed to repeat the history of bigotry and prejudice that has really what impacted about that, our society. Ben? I mean, is there any value to oh. saying that, that, there, that there is some inherent bias, this, this sort of fear of difference of something that seems other, uh, and, and that the, the, it's valuable to sort of look at that and try to call attention to it so we can stop it? 
How about combating actual acts of racism? How about singling out racism and then actually doing something about it, as opposed to doing this kind of Marxist newspeak in which we go through everybody's hidden actions? You know, I'm sensing, I'm sensing a real sort of underlying, I don't know, racial bias to this whole segment. Robert, I find you to be racially biased. I find you to be insensitive, bigoted, and misogynist based on everything that you've said. It may be hidden. Maybe I can't detect it, but we all know it's there. So perhaps you should go through this program. At the end of the program, you will feel free. You'll feel better about you yourself, and you'll, you'll feel I more informed could, because after all, all this comes down to your screensaver. If you no, just, it, I you, think need, we can, you need to come, come up with a different screensaver and, and, again, consume media that helps build empathy. You know something? You guys, I think I we, could, uh, we could all learn from this program. And, Ben, you've got a future writing for Stephen Colbert. All right, that, that's it. I'm not, I'm not denying the fact that some sexism exists. Of course it does. But Thank to say you. that, But to say that it, but it also exists against men. And to say that it's systematic and that every single woman at every...